Hi, it's Lynn from Linny C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK and I'm coming on to make a variation of this card. This was a card that I made for a colour challenge over at the Stamping Cove which is um, hosted and run by my lovely upline Emma Goddard, Coastal Crafter. Um, it is a private group, but you can. Um, it's well worth joining. Lots of inspiration. So this was the colour challenge was pool party, granny apple green and um, petal pink. And um, I decided to use one of the celebration sets wonderful world now this is a set that you can earn for free during celebration so you've got until the end of august um 2022 it does come with some let me get the catalogue it does come with um some lovely matching designer series paper beautiful florals um so that's well worth it. I just thought I would do that. It's quite a clean and simple card. And I've used one of the artistic mix decorative masks. Now, if you've been here for a while and, and seen some of my videos, you know that I do love a mask. So I used that one there on my card. It's beautiful. Now, this set is actually... Um, Um, it's made to layer so it's got that and then it's got those and you can layer those if you want to or use it separately um, really pretty and then you've got some checks and again that can be layered or use they can be used separately but it can be layered so that you can um, get a different look and then we've got some labels so you could mask around um you could uh put ink in there and then you've got the actual cutout so you could use that and just mask um add ink around the edges of those so i think today i'm going to use um i'm just going to use those i'm going to use the squares so make a sort of trellisy look so it's very basic um, thick basic white for the base this is half a sheet of a4 so 21 centimeters by 14.8 centimeters and scored at ten and a half i've got a layer which is the one that i'm going to do the use the mask on and that is or stencil whatever you call it and that's cut just slightly shorter so that there's a very thin board around so that is 14 and a half by 10.2 and then I've cut a label with one of the um, scalloped col contours uh, scalloped contours dies get my teeth in today having lots a heat wave today um, here we are the scalloped contour dies so it's the second to largest scallop and I'm not sure where I've got that as usual oh, there it is on the machine as usual i'm in chaos so let's get on and do our sponging may well use a different flower from the set to do um, the focal point but we will just get this and do some sponging so i've got my trusty light blue um, blending brush and I'm gonna use this so I want to make sure that it covers it completely let's have a look and I can see the white bit but you probably can't So it centers quite nicely on that and then I'm just going to use some sticky to stick down some of the corners to help me from the mask moving I haven't gone over the cardstock 
I'm not sure this we did this cart in card class and I'm not sure if there's any ink left on the brush so we'll just do it very lightly I might actually need to re-ink my stamp pad But I want it, I don't want a lot of colour, I just want a very subtle background because this is a subtle colour and so I want it quite pale. how much ink is left on that. It's applying some colour. So I hope you are all well. We in the south of England are having a heat wave. We're actually having a summer which is rather nice does mean I've got the door open to my craft room. I've got some I'm lucky enough to open up onto a deck, but it's still very steamy and humid. So instead of a nice cup of tea, I've got some water here. Take a quick slurp. Let's just lift that corner and look at that. That is so pretty. Very beautiful. Happy with that for a background. I think what I'm just going to do though is come in very gently on that edge. And that's really pretty. I like that. So that's that's done. So we'll close that down. And then we have our um, our label and I think actually I'm going to use this little rose stamp here now on my original card I added the colors with these um, little daubers and I think it's this is a distinctive stamp um, and I think it's rather lovely so um, Let's see what this looks like. I may well create a mask. There we go. And then let's get some petal pink on the flower. And then because this is um, a water-based ink, I'm going to give it a huff on it to reactivate the ink. And actually, I think what I'm going to do... That's so pretty. I'm going to create a mask. This is fell in my ink, um, my memento but this is stamping up masking paper which is fabulous so no more um, stamping on post-it notes I'm going to stamp this flower so let's clean it off and we can stamp it completely on there let's clean it off again because Still want to do two tone so pretty so there's various ways that you can add ink and I'm just going to trim around this the thing with masking um, paper is that you do actually want to cut 
even if you're using a post-it note you want to cut close on right on the image I'm going to create a complete mask because it can then be reused. That's the beauty of this. It's more durable. Now I have been told that it is very, very sticky. So I'm going to have to be a bit careful. Maybe should have done one of these. Here's one I did in earlier. Let's try and cut that out and come back in and do the detail. And we can have a bunch of roses, can't we? Rather than just the one. Let's cut that out completely. really have my I, I have been crafting with my fan on so I think it might be a bit noisy and drown out my voice my husband asked me what I was doing today and I said well I'll be doing some filming so I promise to be as quiet as possible but who knows Hmm, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Very fiddly. But it will be worth it. Hopefully, I can do this without cutting it. Oh, I was con concentrating so much, I'm not sure. on camera there let's see if I can peel that there we go now I'm going to just stick that gently on my palm to get rid of some of the stickiness. I don't want to get rid of all of it, but I want to get rid of some of it. And pop that down. On there rid of the hair there we go so let's see if we can do this again then so let's I haven't tried I haven't used that's the first time I've used this masking paper so we shall see together whether it works or not for me and then the green Trying not to get the green on the rose, but it doesn't really matter. 
So I'm going to do, I want to do that up there. And I'm going to do another one off to this side. Gives you a lovely soft effect on the flower. Have a look. Gently peel it off. Ah, that's lovely. I quite like that. Very, very subtle. We'll save that mask for another day. Now, um, what you can also do um, to give it a bit more of a definition, I guess, is to cut out, and I've already done it ahead of time, to cut out and then pop another one up on, just to save you watching me, you don't really want to watch me, I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals now what did I do with my dimensionals I looked them out in advance and as always they've gone walking I can never find anything I'm just rubbish oh dear I looked out big ones as well this heat is getting to me so we'll pop that one up didn't pull this back very well did I Ooh. trying to do it yes I like that and then for a sentiment the last time I used this in the set and a sentiment from this inspired thoughts um, so actually, I might make this a sympathy card because I never like those, but it's always handy to have one in the bag. So I'm going to use Memento. I'm going to stick that. Uh, I've got the stick on. I make sure that's didn't even get it in the middle. Oh dear. Right. Um other thing that I did, which I think is always nice to have, is to have a little bit of a double bow. So it's one piece doubled up and I literally just tie a bow join the little ones so if those are equal happy with that could use a little bit more if you wanted longer tails I'm going to pop that on there with some mini glue dot. We shall pop that up there. Lovely. Not sure what I've got there. There's a little mark there. Probably nail varnish or something. Typical. So then it's just a, literally a case of. Can you 
I like to score my base before I put the front on. Um, pop that on there. Put that on flat. And then we're going to pop that on dimensionals as well. Let's go to town so that it doesn't sag. So we've done a bit of masking. We've used... Um, decorative masks or stencils. We've tied a double bow. Let's see, let's use our lines to get it straight. And I think I'm still going to use some of my bow. I'm going to cover that up because it's bugging me. There we go. And that, and then there. That might be big, sticky. There we go. So that was the original does look a little bit faded there but anyway um let me know what you think i love this color combination so thank you for that um emma and beautiful stamp set so take care be safe and i will see you again soon